Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. Today it's my team, my little team's little blog hop. Uh, there's just two of us that are doing videos at the moment. Um, um, but it's a vlog hop nevertheless and I hope you enjoy it. So this time, that's May 2022, our theme for this hop is paper piecing. So normally when I do paper piecing, I fussy cut from, pa from our papers and piece them onto stamped pieces. This time I'm going to do paper piecing with die cuts. So I've got a wee card in mind and I'm also I'm aware that this amazing bundle is leaving us at the end of June. So if you don't have this set and you want it, don't delay. The retired list retiring list for this catalogue is coming out very soon. And I know this hasn't carried over to the annual catalogue, so it probably is retiring altogether. So don't delay. If you like it, get it. It's just such a handy set, such a beautiful set. I love this sort of typeface, like vintage stamp there and the leaves, the leaves, the leaves are gorgeous and the sentiments are lovely too. So I have a black card base, two layers, whoops, here we go, two layers of soft sea foam. I don't need that one. I was contemplating using even an evergreen and then I've gone for black. I wanted high contrast for some reason. I, I've actually, I'm a person that really likes high contrast and bright colours, I've realised. So, I'm going to be using black with soft sea foam and our new green, our parakeet party. You know, just let's see what happens. I'll show you, I'll explain why what I'm doing is paper piecing when I get to it. So, I'm going to use this big leaf stamp from this set and the happiest birthday wishes. Of course, in my usual style, I am not organised. So if you're looking for someone who's really well organised, this is probably not the channel for you. <laughs> I'm not organised, I'm real, I'm human. And um, yeah. So anyway, back to the video hop. Um, Ladonia will ha also have a video and her link will be in my description box below. So once you've watched this, if you could hop over and watch Ladonia's video and give her some encouraging comments, that would be fantastic. And I hope you like what we've both done with paper piecing. I have no idea what Ladonia has done with paper piecing. We don't discuss what we're going to do, we just do it. So, do you know, we might end up with the same thing, we might not. But even if we used exactly the same things, I very much doubt we would come up with the same result. So, on my piece of soft sea foam, I'm just going to stamp a leaf once. And then again, so stamping off the second time. So it's just giving some background. I'm aware that my stamping wasn't too good on that, but I doubt that will be seen by the time. In fact, I'll probably make sure that's not seen at the end. And I'm going to put the sentiment on with Memento Black. Do I need this again? Not at the moment. Possibly, but not at the moment. And I'm just going to slip. I was going to put this at the top, but I've just changed my mind. And I'm just going to pop it at the bottom.
and then I'm going to um, pop this onto the card base. As I say, I haven't done a practice one. I've just thought this up in my head. Uh, I'm not, I've been working at my other job all today at this particular desk. And of course I've got nothing organised. So let's hope that this glue works for me. I just basically took one hat off and put another hat on. Well, that hasn't got any glue in it, I don't think. Does anyone know where the other glues have gone? They were here last night. They're not here now. Just... <laughs> I've got a new one here. We'll just get that out and then. If I have to, when I'm doing my day job, I have to clear my craft desk, put computers out, and then clear them away when I'm finished. So. Two completely different jobs on one day is not the best idea, but hey, needs must. So, Okay, so then I have used two of the dies. I'll let you see the dies in the die set. I'm keeping this simple. So, so these two cut out this, the two stamps in the stamp set and this one that cuts them out. There's two texture dies that don't completely cut shapes out, but just cut some wee lines. Then we've got this leaf that standalone, you can cut that out on its own. And this edge die, which is beautiful. I've used it, if you look back on my blog, you will see I've used that a few times. I do love it. Right, so I used this die and that die and I cut them both out twice. Now I have kept most of it on the cutting tree so that I don't lose all the bits. So I pop the, and now I've shown you what which dies. So basically I'm just going to now layer these on top of these leaves so it'll just look, it'll look like a bunch of leaves. <laughs> and who doesn't like a bunch of foliage? So. So basically just what I will do, I think I'm going to use the black ones because it is the sort of black on green that I'm after. Now I'm going to have to be a bit careful here taking this off, so I'll take that out of the way. So what I want to do here, I, I will want to use the other bits in another card. So. What I'm doing is trying to get off just the outline. It's not going to happen, but... I'm just lay them on there so I don't lose them. I can work it out. I won't film making the ones with the black centres up. <laughs> I'll do that. Um, it'll be like doing a jigsaw, but it won't matter. So I'll show you... So basically I have die cut these both leaves in each colour. I'll keep them safe up there for later. So I'm going to pop this one on first. So I want in that to kind of go over here. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue. I could of course have used the adhesive back sheets which would have made this whole process well easier in one way but maybe slightly harder to separate all the pieces so you probably realize that paper piecing is just piecing bits of paper back into the shape so 
it's no great mystery and it's not terribly difficult. Let's get that to stick down. Maybe you need just a bit of Let's hold it down till the glue grabs and then we're done. So we'll do this one first. And as you see, I'm keeping that one because that one's easier to do. So basically what I'm going to do is piece each of these back into here. I'm just going to put a wee dot of glue in the space. Just to hold it down. So we'll just start at the top. Now I do have my tweezers which will probably be quite good at this. Good for this. Oop. I'm trying to tell you how easy it is and then I start dropping bits everywhere. So I am piecing these bits back in, which makes this qualify as paper piecing. These um, pointy tweezers are really good for this job. These are cosmetic tweezers, not craft tweezers. <laughs> It's amazing how many <laughs> how many cosmetic products are useful in a craft room. I love this parakeet party and I just love the way it contrasts with black. Be able to get this teeny tiny one. Let's see, this will be the trickiest. I just realised that I was working to the side, so I'm hoping that you were able to see what I was doing before. I turned that round just to make that just a bit easier to see what I'm doing. Because I realised that that tiny piece would be the trickier piece. So basically you just... I mean, obviously I could get really smart and I could have done... Cut these out in lots of colours. And then we could have them um, pieced in and given this lots of different coloured leaves. Actually, not thinking that that bit should be there. I think. I think that's a gap between leaves. That one. And just make sure that the glue grabs. Always add a bit more if you think what you've used has gone too dry. But with Tombow, it should still grab. There we go. Sleeve's nearly there. Just make sure it's fitted right in. And then just this little thin bit for this one. effective isn't it? It's 
so we'll pop what oh I need these two green bits here for the other leaf I pop the extra bits because I will make them up into leaves to be used okay I'm just not sure that's right and then just stick this one down go I think that's enough just for it to be to hold it down and I'm gonna pop this over here This one's easier because there's a, there are only two pieces and they can only go one way. So so these are my paper piece leaves. It just gives you a different effect. So obviously these are over the layers of the other leaves, so I just need to hold it a minute or two till it all sticks. So I hope you enjoyed this wee simple card. I don't know if it needs to... Oops. Cooks the paper back into where you need it to be. And we do have some black dots. I think oh, these I've carried over to the annual catalogue, so that's fine. Um, yeah. I think they're just right for the job here. So we'll just put one or two around here. For the inside, I thought I might just do a little bit of stamping. I don't know how I'm doing for time here. I've lost all track. Let's just have a wee check. We're not bad at all. So, seeing as there are just two of us <laughs> in the hop, maybe don't have to worry about the time so much. It's when you're in a hop where there's a lot of people, you want to give people a chance to see everybody. So... Yeah, we'll just use this leaf and just do a bit of inking up the side. And that's plenty. And just, you could still write over that because it's, it is the same colour. It's soft sea foam and it will go back a bit as it dries. Well, let's wait, it looks a bit brighter.
use my bone folder, it might I not want to flatten my leaf, but I should have done that before I started. So there you have it, my version of paper piecing with our cardstock, which is paper. So I hope you like that. A simple, really quite quick and easy. So thank you everyone for watching. Please um, press... <laughs> Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please play, press play um, the bell icon. Maybe I need to go and get a cup of coffee. <laughs> press the bell icon so that you get notified when I'm coming on again. And please share this with anyone who you think might be interested to watch some crafting videos. I am trying very hard to get to 2,000 subscribers. I think I've got about 202 or something to get. So... Yeah, share it out and see if I can get there soon. Thank you very, very much. Take care. Don't forget to go down into the description box, get Ladonia's link and go off and see what she's done with this theme. Thank you. Bye-bye.